my friends if they would buy boards so we could ride together. And the boards are $1,500. And my friends said no way they could afford that. So it kind of made me realize that electric boards really aren't accessible to college students. So that's what really got the ball rolling on how to make uh, an affordable board. And then I looked around the market and there was some affordable boards already out around this price point and even cheaper. But a lot of them just weren't powerful and they weren't good quality. So I wanted to figure out how to make a quality board but still be cheap enough for college students. Uh, I have considered buying one a few times, but they are really expensive, so I haven't really been able to. Because most of the time when you get people that have skated before, they know what they're building. Uh, when you're trying to just make a product for a skateboard, you see some really like weird, how do you say, like gimmicky things. Not only looking at it from a design perspective, but I'm actually testing it. And, you know, riding as hard as I can and figuring out the flaws early, whereas some other companies uh, build a board that looks good on paper and then they start selling it. He's just a, he's just a really focused individual. I mean, that's what we we're talking about with the with the work ethic. Like he he makes goals. We we sit down. And we talk about where we want to be with shred lights, where we want to be with sales, where how we want the customers to view us. We sit down and we make those goals and, and they happen, you know? I'm really excited to be, you know, finish the class and be able to put all my effort into Riptide and Shred Lights and into business um, and not have to balance school and business. So I think I'll really be able to grow the businesses even more than I have now, putting, you know, nine to five, five to six days a week into it. This is the beginning. He's going to be doing a lot of other stuff.